Hey guys, it's Mrs. Conway. So now what I would like to do is to go over a flow chart proof. And I would like to use the same um, example that I used when I did the two column proof so you can see the differences between the flow chart and the two column proof and maybe which one would make more sense for you. So we've already talked about with this situation we, if you watched the previous video, so if you didn't, let's go over it really quick. We're given that angle ABC is obtuse. We're given that BD bisects ABC. And we are proving that DBC is acute. So DBC being this angle right here. So we need to sort of dissect what we know. We know that obtuse means that we've got to be more than 90 but less than 180. We know that bisect tells me that the angle ABD is going to be the same thing as angle DBC. Um, so let's break down what a proof for this um, would look like in a to uh, flowchart format. So with a flow, flow chart, chart pl format, I still need to start by writing my givens. So I'm going to start, but I'm going to do it, I like to do that then side by side. And in fact, with this one, we're probably going to start um, with almost four different, in this one, we're gonna, okay, we're just gonna start with our given. So we'll have, we would write given angle A, B, C is, I put a box around that to keep track of it, angle, um, and then B, B, D bisects A, B, C. Now, Knowing that this is obtuse is going to tell me that um, the measure of angle ABC has to be greater than 90 degrees, but also less than 180 degrees. And notice I'm doing my steps in the same color, um, so you can kind of see where where things are going to be. Okay, and then line there to separate my different proofs because it's getting a little messy here. Um, and then this also, this given is going to tell me another piece of information. It's going to tell me that the measure of angle ABD equals the measure of angle, um, and that's because that's the definition of a bisector. So then the next thing I might want to do is combine these or actually, you know what? This is one. Of, this one is what the flowchart can be kind of nice for, because really, what happens here is I kind of am going to introduce an additional piece of information. Now, I'm I'm going to add in. Well, actually, we also know just by looking at the picture that um, the measure of angle ABD plus the measure of angle DBC should equal the measure of angle ABC. So we know that the little angles should add up to the big angle from the angle addition postulate. So then um, I need to think about, well, I'm trying to get angle DBC. I really don't need to talk about angle ABD if I'm trying to prove something about DBC. So the next thing I probably ought to do is use substitution so that with these two pieces of information, I only need to talk about um, DBC. So I'm going to replace this ABD with DBC. So it'll be the measure of angle DBC plus the measure of angle DBC equals the measure of angle ABC. Well, dbc plus dbc that's just going to be two dbcs whoops i skipped a step there i've got to write down that my y here um this is because of substitution right this is the part of proofs that tends to trip people up i have to say every little thing so this now is going to flow directly into the thought that um angle the measure of angle um, DBC, or this is, now I can do simplify, 2 times the measure of angle DBC equals the measure of angle A, 
e c so that's by simplifying okay so now i should probably put some pieces of information together i've got over here that the measure of angle b abc has to be less than 180 and twice dbc equals abc so i'm going to substitute again i'm going to take this piece of information and this piece of information to say that um, 2 times the measure of angle dbc has to be more than 90 but it also has to be less than 180 which is really the part i'm going to use and we just use substitution to get that and so now i can just take this and continue with it and say okay well if i divide everything in this by 2 i'm going to end up with 45 is less than measure of angle dbc which is less than 90 degrees by division property of equality well it's inequality here but i'm just going to call it division and now i know that the measure of angle dbc is less than 90 which is what i'm basically trying to prove so now i know that angle dbc is acute because of the definition of and my proof is done so that is what a flowchart proof for this might look like. And I wrote it kind of big. Um, I'm still getting used to this stylus. I apologize. But there you have it. And I tried to use colors. So if you're looking at this after the fact, you can kind of see the similarities and the differences between our flowchart proof and our two column proof. Um, clearly, one of them is going to be is more linear than the other but i like the way the flowchart proof kind of says okay i'm taking this piece of information and this piece of information to get this stuff and then i'm putting it together to get this information so depending on how you see the situation this might make more sense to you so there we have our flowchart proof so in the next video i'm going to go over how you might use just a paragraph to defend this um, and it, it can be a way to, especially if you're having trouble understanding what's going on, a paragraph proof can be a way to at least show me what you do know without necessarily getting super specific with the vocabulary. So, um, I suggest you practice this on your own. Remember, you can always redo a proof by yourself after the fact and just try not to look at the original. So good luck.